Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Cougar Tales. Now, before you guys ask, I'm not in my car today. I'm in my son's car, but I'm over here on this side of uh, San Antonio. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in front of a BJ's restaurant, like off on the west side, off I-10. And it reminded me of a Cougar Tale that I could tell you guys. So in today's Cougar Tales, I'm gonna tell you about Asian guy. So I met this really cute Asian guy on Bumble, which I normally don't meet cute Asian guys, especially here in Texas, but he was really cute, military, tall, which I didn't even know until after I met him. And so I thought, okay, yeah, let's meet up. And it was really weird because I matched up with him. It was probably like nine o'clock at night. You know, I'm like laying in bed, just, you know, scrolling through Bumble. And he said, hey, what are you doing tonight? Let's meet up for a drink. So I said, okay, let's meet up. And we decided to meet here because it was kind of like in between where each of us lived. So I got to this BJ's before he did and we met at the bar and he looked exactly like his profile, tall, really good looking, great personality, very outgoing, just like me. And I already had a tab open. So I said, hey, let me treat you to the first round. So he says, oh, okay, well, in that case, um, I'll take that Macallan 21. And if you guys know anything about uh, whiskey or scotch or whatever, that's some expensive shit. So I'm like, all right, okay, whatever, you know, no big deal. And so we are drinking and laughing and talking. And then the bartender comes back and says, you know, you guys want another round? And he's like, yeah, he goes, uh, yeah, let me get this uh, like Glen Fittage uh, 18. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And so we still keep drinking and stuff. And then um, like another round comes by and he's like, oh, which whiskey haven't I tried before? Yeah, let me get that $40 a, a glass whiskey right there. I don't know what it was, like probably Dewar's or something like that. And I'm just like, okay, all right, I got you. I got you. So finally, this BJ's is about to close. It's like midnight. And so I get the tab and my tab is literally like $146. And mind you, I only had two drinks. And I was just, I was like, okay, I crossed this dude off, like not even close. And so I was like, well, it's really nice to meet you. And we hugged in the parking lot and he jumps into my car and he puts his address in my navigation system. And I'm like, sure, that was very presumptuous of you. But anyways, so, I head home and an hour later, he texts me, where are you at? And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm laying in bed. And then after that, I never saw him again, but oddly enough, we stayed friends. And so we would like message each other and, you know, just kind of here and there, here and there. And then finally I told him like why I never wanted to see him again. And he apologized. And then he said, let me make it up to you. Like, let me take you out to lunch or let me take you out to drinks, but, um, or let me take you out for drinks. But like by then I was just like, no, I'm not interested anymore. But to this day, we're still friends. He finally met a girl and I think he's engaged. If he's not engaged yet, he will be soon because he's been with this girl for a couple of years now. But the moral of the story is if a woman is going to buy you a drink, you take turns. Or even if she buys like the whole night, you don't go for like the most expensive whiskeys on earth. I mean, seriously. And then don't presume that she wants, she wants to go back to your place and by putting your address in her navigation system. So no, I didn't give him a blowjob in the parking lot. No kiss, no nothing. And if you guys are keeping tabs, I didn't sleep with this guy. And if you really keep tabs, I don't sleep with half the guys. So there you have it. That's my story about Asian guy, probably the only Asian guy. And until next time, happy hunting.